This is Madare Slums, an informal settlement in the heart of Nairobi with an estimated population of over 500,000 households. It is the second largest slum in Nairobi. Madare is characterized by the lack of proper infrastructure, gang violence, lack of proper sanitation, overpopulation, and a myriad of social complexities. With little governmental help, Madare looks within itself to solve most of their social issues. Meet 32-year-old Billion Okoth Ojiwa, a ray of light to the Madare residents and the founder of the Billion Music Family Resource and Leadership Center. The center has been supporting the community since the year 2010. Some of their initiatives include giving school uniforms to students with torn uniforms, paying school fees and giving out bursaries to low-income families, and free physiotherapy sessions to disabled children from the slum area. <laughs> and to think all this started from one hit song. So my song was, first song was called Natamani. <laughs> yeah, so there's a period of time that guys would call me Natamani. The kids would follow me and singing Natamani and enjoying me. So I decided to, you know, keep them busy also. So that's how we started the Billion Music Family. The birth of the Billion Music Family was just to create a platform for young people, uh, especially by then children, to be able to have options when they're pushing for talents. I wanted to create an environment where young people can sing about, you know, my dream, things that we relate with in the community. And that's what the idea behind the Billion Music Family uh, was. So we've been able to extend, open up, and have more other social issues addressed by music, but also by action. Many of us went to school with torn school uniforms, uh, but I, I thought, 10, 15 years after going to school, just seeing the same scenes happening in the community was not you know, appealing. So when I started, I just wanted to give uniforms in Madare. So all the schools in Madare have received uniforms through the Ficha Uchi. Mara ya kwanza nilipo sikia Ficha Uchi, nili stuka sana juusi kukwa na emelewa ni nini. Niliambiwa kuna kazi muna inatakikana mfanya na mutafanya chini ya Ficha Uchi. Uniform tumeweza kusona mingi sana kwa sababu first madare constituency sule ya msingi ya serikali ni seme ya city council tuliweza kusona uniform sule zote tuka sona mpaka sule za private schools tumeenda kakamega tumeenda mpaka siya county hizo ni masule za enje sasa nikiangalia inaenda 15000 watoto wale wame sasa ediwa na ficha uchi kuwa sonia uniform inafanya mtoto anakuwa active kwa class ana change sababu ile uoga alikuwa nayo inaisha so ana change kama alikuwa chini anakuwa juu tena wana fry i am thanking ficha uchi campaign because they have distributed uniforms to the needy people instead instead of the needy people to sit behind and do not work hard now they they have enough courage to sit in front and look and concentrate in class so i i love systems i work with you know structures so it makes works easier it helps with accountability when we started providing food for the families, at first we would just go to an area and give food. But we realized because things were so uncertain, even those who hide food were rushing to supermarkets to get more food. So nobody was satisfied with what they had. So, and yet there were some needy people needed to get that help but we were not able to push themselves through those queues and get the food. So what we did is to develop a voucher. So with the voucher, we would work with the community health volunteers, we'd give them the vouchers, and then they would get the food from the local shopkeepers. They would come with the voucher, go to the same shop that they buy stuff in within their area. 
and then they get, they're given the food stuff. We were able to give over 5,000 people food uh, through the vouchers and even through the support we'd get organizations, uh, churches that wanted to come and through our organization we would be able, because we have structures, we are able to identify the needy cases, uh, sieve through and, and then, yeah, support. A lot of families in the slum area with disabled children face a lot of stigma, which therefore means that the disabled children would miss out on opportunities due to lack of access to treatment and other needs. The centre is addressing this issue by providing free physiotherapy sessions to disabled children and smoothly integrating them to schools and other opportunities available after treatment. Hii therapy imenisaidia sana kwa ajili ya mtoto hakukua mikono iko inafanya kazi na migu. Sasa hii mguu mmoja unafanya kazi na mkono mmoja. Sasa umebaki mkono mmoja na mungu. Na ninashukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu ya hii msaada ya hii therapy. Challenge nimekuwa nazo kwa sababu unajua natoka mbali. Saingine nahitaji fare kukuja hapa lakini huwa najikakamua ninakuja. Na nimeshukuru Mungu kwa sababu tunapata misaada kutoka mahali hapa tukati tulikile tunapewa daipa, tunapewa unga tunapewa chakula huwa na shukuru sana we have seen progress in most of the clients we have patients that you have already discharged those who have already gained their milestones and are already working so we discharge them and we help them integrate into the school settings that we are provided with around here the other challenge is the parents, most of them they don't come from a stable economic background. So most of them you'll find that if for a week we have two sessions, you'll find that it's not easy for them to easily maintain a consistent attendance record for therapy. They can't come for the two sessions in a week because they have to maybe go and earn a living so they have, they, they have minimal time to access therapy. Apart from its regular initiatives, the Billion Music Foundation provides ad hoc services for unexpected issues, like providing water and masks to the community during the COVID-19 pandemic to help curb the spread of the virus. Shida maji mekua miezi hivu. Sia tuwelewi shida iko wako. Lakini tumekua tuna shida ya maji. Venye corona ilikuja, kulikuwa na shida ya maji. Venye tungekua tunatumia hiyo maji kwa wingi sana kwa sababu ya kuosha mikono. Kuosha kila kitu ikue safi. Hii maji tunapewa bure, tunasikia vizuri. Inatusaidia kwa sababu tunapata sasa hiyo pesa kidogo tunasafe. Hii utumia mitungi karibu kumi, hata zaidi ya kumi kwa siku sababu si soko inataka maji sana hata hii ya huko nataka maji mingi venye napewa pale na natumia mitungi kama 20 na ninashukuru sana kupata hiyo mitungi 20 personally i witnessed police caning people here because of the masks and and uh, they could not afford it and even in the list of priorities people would not you know leave food and buy masks so we sat down, we looked at what was going around. You know, there were so many theories around masks, uh, that this is, these are the, the masks that people are supposed to wear, the, nine, the N95. Uh, so there were just so many theories around the masks. But now when we came to understand that we could make the cloth masks and have a filter inside, we decided to use the resources we have to provide the mask. Mimi nilifundish wa siku moja. Na pia mimi nikafundisha watu siku moja. Nilikuwa nachukua day na wafundisha na wanashika tuibo. Na but hawakuwa na wanashika mzuri. So ilikuwa na challenges mingi. Sa zingine inasoneka vibaya. Bado tunarudishwa ime toka mbaya. Na tuliendelea hivu. So we um, worked with our team, community health volunteers to be able to reach those people who did not have masks. We even gave the police some of the masks so that they could 
instead of gaining people, they would give people masks because people didn't know, didn't have an alternative. Some would even, you know, tie their mouths with a, with a cloth because they don't want to be caned and, and they can't afford it. I remember the first time, the, the first mask that I bought was at, I think, 200 shillings, one. And I was being told that I could only wear that mask once. I, I, I could feel the pain because I didn't know how long this will last. And buying one mask, and in my family, in my house, we are three of us. So meaning we'll be we using 600 shillings every single day. So logically, it was not adding up for me. And when we started making the mask, we were relieved. The community was relieved. Billion alikuwa napeleka mask anapeana bure. Wakati hiyo analipa wa mama wale wanasona. Wakati hiyo anapeana mpaka chakula kwa wa mama huko ndani. Kuhusu Billion nitasema ni mtu kiongozi mzuri. Kazi yenye anafanya ni ya kusaidia watoto, kusaidia ma youths, kusaidia wa mama pia. The things that I'm doing are so fulfilling. I enjoy doing them, so I don't even see them as an accomplishment. Yeah, I just see that I, you know, I I enjoy doing what I am doing, and what keeps me sane it's because of the difference that I am making. That it's the small that we are doing is making. We are seeing somebody in school. The next day is saying, you know, I'm joining university. That is what keeps me sane. That is what pushes me to come every single day. And seeing that, you know, the small that we are doing as is making an impact in the community. How people are talking, how people are changing, and and makes me say, you know, then we can do be better. We can keep, we can push the boundary. So it makes me to every time to keep pushing the boundaries. Well, you know, everything is a pressing issue here, but I think most pressing issue here is responsibility. There are leaders that we elected that need to take responsibility. Uh, the leaders that we, you know, we, we have, we had faith, we had hope on them. So we had to hold them accountable. Everything that we are addressing here are not issues that are supposed to be addressed by individual. You know, their leadership, uh, issues. When we have a good leadership, these children would go to a school. The water that we are giving here is not a challenge that we are supposed to be addressing now. There should be a leader somewhere taking a responsibility and making sure that we have uh, boreholes in, in, in Madare. If not boreholes in the Madare, there is a way that people are able to get water. So we need people who understand what is happening in the community and able to relate with them. So what I am I am doing now is trying to bring like-minded leaders, people that I feel, I believe, that are able to look at things differently in the community and have a heart of seeing things changing, not for their own interest, but for the betterment of our community. So I don't want to be a, a, a walking hope. I want us to create a system where even when we are not there, these children will be able to go to school. These mamas will be able to work. So that is the most pressing issue for me. And, and being born and raised in this community, it's something when it's addressed, the generations will benefit from it. I will not live forever here. But how will the generations coming benefit from the foundations for the things that we're putting in place?